In the miracle of Ponferrada, Juan de Benavente decided to steal the tabernacle containing a precious silver ciborium with numerous consecrated hosts inside from his very own parish. With only the passing of time and miraculous circumstances, the recovery of the stolen hosts, which remained perfectly intact, was made possible. De Benavente lived in Ponferrada with his wife. It was apparent that he was very devout and religious. In fact, every evening he stopped in church to pray. One day, during his prayer time, he succumbed to greed and seized the tabernacle, a simple wooden container, in which there was a precious silver ciborium containing some consecrated hosts. He fled from the church and headed towards the Sill River in order to pitch the cheap wooden tabernacle. But when he tried to launch it into the water, he could not because of its sudden immense weight. So, he returned home where he hid everything and said nothing to his wife. During the night, continuous flashes of light came from the tabernacle arousing the suspicion of his wife. So Juan decided to go out and dispose of his sacrilegious stolen goods. He reached a place the townspeople called the Arenal Field, and threw the tabernacle and consecrated hosts into the middle of the blackberry patch. The discovery of the crime brought dismay among all of the population, and Juan became increasingly nervous and anxious, also because he did not know how to sell the silver ciborium without getting caught. Near the arenal field, the owner of the land, Diego Nunez de Losada, set up a target practice for entertainment during the feast days. During the time frame in which the sacred hosts were still in the blackberry patch, Eyewitness reported seeing flashes of light at night and strange doves hovering during the day. The crossbowmen tried in vain to hit the doves. The miller Nogaledo decided then to capture the doves with his hands and ventured into the blackberry patch discovering the tabernacle and the sacred hosts from where the intense flashes of light originated. Shook up, he went straight towards the church where the bells were ringing in the distance. The return of the sacred hosts was organized via a solemn procession. Juan was overcome with remorse and decided to plead guilty. In the place of the recovery of the miraculous hosts, a chapel was immediately constructed. In 1570 the parish priest planned the expansion of the building and instituted a solemn annual procession on the eighth day of the Feast of Corpus Christi in memory of the miracle.